Hello there, greetings. Thank you for joining us for tonight's communication. So, um, I had a little switch recently. I guess I knew Spirit Guy came in. That was Sylvia. I guess she left. Uh, so now I'm connecting more with my uh, higher self energies, uh, God energies, higher self, and uh, uh, Moses came in too. <laughs> uh, so I guess they're rearranging, but I'm connecting more to higher self energies. So I have guys are just kind of in the background somewhere. So I guess they don't know what to do with me, or it doesn't matter. They don't. What do they do half the time anyway? So, um, so yeah, I'm getting, I guess you can say I'm getting a little bit more control, more connection. I know it's weird, but, uh, um, I'm getting guidance, but, uh, it's different. So how do you do that? I don't know. Just, I guess you guys get tired of, you can't do it anymore. And they all leave. I don't know. <laughs> they don't all completely leave, but, um, Anyway, there's something on the web, on the internet also. I'm going around taking people's white codes or something like that. It's like I don't know what. I don't see that, <laughs> but now with the cabal stuff, I'm probably taking their stuff. So if you're connected to them, I'm taking. If I'm doing anything like that in the astral, I'm taking what doesn't belong to them <laughs> and giving it back to those that are the owner or something like that. So. That would be the dark cabal, if you're wondering. Uh, but I don't think I'm doing that to anybody, as far as I know. I got better things to do. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing in Astro, but I don't think that's one of the things. That's what I call deceiving energies. But that's fine. If that's what you think I'm doing, fine. That is your business. I don't connect much with uh, the gossip out there. Every once in a while, it kind of gets back to me. And that's fine. It's part of soul growth. Um, we're going to do a, uh, connection with this new connection I got and, uh, more bizarreness on its way. Um, for those that are new to all this, if you're still here, simonteller.com, my private sessions here, I'm still getting the site in order, but, uh, yeah, well, it's functioning. It's just not. Yeah, we have Google Hangout, Zoom, and phone, and Skype. I have my whole wording all changed, too. Uh, this is the calendar here, and I might make this look a little bit more exciting, maybe, if I know how to do that. And also, these are the quick links to uh, our sessions. Also, we have a submit questions. I'll just go here instead. And yeah, this is one to 10 days. I'm answering as quickly as possible. Uh, today I had to work, so my energy is kind of down. So it's better if I uh, re-energize before I go back into any of this. But um, definitely I'll be catching up for the next for the week. So this is the new system, and I'm still trying to get this sign. Either way, both of these links take you to um, the shot to create an account. I put shop account i took away the webinar link until i could figure out what to do with that uh but basically i'll probably re-add it but i'm gonna do something different with it um but right now for the webinar you can just log in here basically but i'm trying to make it a little bit either way i'll work on it um i'm just tired of working on it but both of these right here sign in and shop account you can create an account um, and that's for the store. Of course, then you have to log back in, which is kind of stupid. But I'm seeing. I'm going to try and make this an easier process. But for right now, you don't have to do that here. But if you want to create an account, it's one way of doing it. And then you go back, and or you just just go ahead and uh, go through the prompts here. That that will create your account. Also, I believe it will. It'll do something. Let's put it that way. But either way, it's pretty, either way, um, it's still an easier process because you can submit your questions instantly. And yeah, it's just where you put your questions, you put the amount, you know, how many you want. You want to ask five questions, uh, you put in your five, add to cart, and you put your five questions there. And you add to cart, 
And if you want to get other items, you can do so also. So I'm trying to make this easy. It's in the early stages of it, so it's going to be kind of a kind of a weird situation, but so eventually I'll get it down. Uh, we also have the Jake uh, Tower Studios. Let's see where that is. It's in the everything's in the links in the video down below, but Tower Studios link is here. I didn't add Jake here, but this is the new issue. Issue three is now uh, the digital is released to print. It's going to take me some time, uh, but there it is. Most Wanted Alien, and you can read it online. And I believe it's all in order. I looked through it. It looked like it was all in order. It kind of throws it around a little bit, but for the most part, is uh, here she goes. That's the agent, Agent Arm. It's one of the MIB agents or whatever you want to call him. Has himself a nice picture. Has a nice profile picture of him of a pig. <laughs> so, um, so there it is. That's our spirit social. Submit a question, healing, past life regression. Message from yesterday, channel consulting, five minute healing. I also have uh, spiritual connections. One question from a day, chakra healing from a day, jailbreak from Miguel. Healing for Nick. And I can ask a question from Yossi and our other services here. So thank you. Uh, oh, yes, we, are, we also have uh, uh, 5D the, um, social network here. We have some nice uh, postings here. Oh, I don't know if I'm, if I'm trying to go through everything, but uh, uh, feel free to check it out. Just log in. It should be pretty easy to create an account. And uh, some pretty interesting things here to explore. So, all right. Um, so, I highly... Uh, Recommend checking this out because uh, Facebook is something you know stuff gets lost, so that's why it's here. So, all right, one second. So. All right, as for the new connection I have here, as well, this is where we're all heading basically. This is the higher vibe, not to say I'm super high vibration right now, I'm still adjusting to all this. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything new or anything. Um, I just feel like I'm going into the next stage, I guess. Uh, fourth dimensional beings, usually they have spirit guides, but not, not, they're there, but not super heavy, but they're there. Here, it's kind of heavy. Of course, you can barely tell that they've been there. Uh, but yeah, we're connecting more to our higher self vibrations as you, as we ascend. As for what is coming into Earth environment, <sighs> many new transitions for sure. Understanding. Oh, that's right. I was going to name this video as "Getting Rid of." Uh, I'm not sure what I was going to call it now, but uh, uh, letting go of a religion. Basically, of that is just people are just going to get tired of it. They're just going to go somewhere else to themselves. Not Scientology <laughs> to themselves. <laughs> Not iron to me to themselves. <laughs> you might get guidance here and there, da -da 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 -da. Uh, but you're still going inner. You know, trusting your instincts, trusting your guides. Okay, hopefully you can trust you. For the most part, you can. Talking to your guides, have a relationship with your guides. I'm having a relationship with myself right now. So um, that's interesting. That's a new one. I'm still adjusting to all of this. I'll, I'll make sure I go come back to all of this when I get. Yeah, Sylvia just left. I didn't feel around. She kind of showed up a little bit, but she's kind of gone. So she couldn't take it anymore. So. Am I that bad? Apparently. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on for the most part, but uh, either way, I think it's for the best. I'm still adjusting to all of this. 
Um, I am seeing things a little bit more. I'm not seeing like beings walking around and all that. I, I just, do you really need that? Is like, I don't need that. <laughs> but I'm getting like a higher idea of, you know, where we're heading what's like what's the mask on humanity you know the thought you know like religion and whatever else religion obviously plays a big role in our controlled environment as um you know it just takes little by little as we become more focused into our our direction it's very simple i mean people are saying i'm going around putting taking light codes and stuff or whatever it is it's part of a process of understand what's going on here but what is happening is yeah it's simple but whatever you want to call it, you know whatever you want to call me or whatever it doesn't matter um but um it's all part of the learning process uh but we're definitely going into more of an awareness of who's here um eventually oh yeah this is another thing i got i'm trying i'm yeah i'm I'm making this a short one tonight. I'm going to connect to uh, somebody and bring some enlightenment. But uh, also, um, what I felt through all through what I'm going through, and probably others are going through to a certain degree, or a full degree, whatever it might be. Um, I did feel like a jolt of. Of course, I'm not alone in this. I felt this in the past, little by little, it comes and goes of uh, awareness of who's here you know like maybe anomalies in the sky but makes it pretty obvious we're not here alone but not in a fear-based manner of course but people are going to freak out anyway uh i can't say it's fully going to be in the sky but it's going to be somewhere and it does seem like this is where you know we're carving it out because it does i mean i believe it does help people realize you know that we're not alone and to understand it of course there's going to be disinformation or whatever but it's just normal here i mean this is a war planet so it's going to do you know and also i was going to say about the other side the spirit world as kind of controversial i'm going to go into it again healing the spirit world because I think there are things there that are not exactly what they claim to be. So it is, it's, it's a controversial subject and they say, I'm not who I claim to be or yada, yada, yada. But also I think that the spirit world has to go through healing also because I believe there is, like I said, there's other, other, there's other spirit worlds is like arcturian i think theirs is a lot nicer than this one <laughs> and art uh, reptilian i think these are nicer too in some degree depending on what's going on there's different kinds there's all different there are probably billions of them that are stacked on top of each other however you want to look at it <laughs> i know it drives so crazy just anyway um like this world is like it's like it's rough i mean i mean the spirit world is okay but there's some areas that are kind of i'm not sure about that that's what i get uh there's areas that need to be i mean you shouldn't have beings come around causing your difficulties oh i'm from the spirit world and you know i don't like what you just said to me or something like that it's like some of them do that so and some people are connected to lower energy. Either way, they shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> so uh, it's the whole spirit world needs to go through a, a cleanse. And I felt something with that. I felt it actually helping. So I'm kind of, I'm throwing a lot of my energies towards there. And I don't think it's being welcomed all that much. But we said those, it's like rogue energies. I know, it sounds like, what? That's what I get with the other side. Not all of them are, no, but they do exist. I mean, they, they're walking around having a grand old time. And they come here and they become, you know, um, I don't want to use Trump as an example, but and I, I don't want to use Kadot Hitler or something like that. I use that one. Even that one's kind of probably not the best one to use. But, or uh, one of Hitler's soldiers, let's put it that way. You know, something like that. It's like, 
then you're going to go back to the other side and just be, a, you know, act like it never happened or whatever it might be. Of course, they go through a lot of healing, but still, it's like, um, I don't think they're always aware of who's coming into this world either. I know it sounds strange. Like other spirit worlds can send people here. So it's not, I mean, you have the main other side connected to this world and you have other ones that are connected to this place too. But you have the main central hub that's most of the time is good. But I think there are also times when it's, you know, kind of questionable. So uh, that's my connection with it because things I, I've been seeing there are not always, of course there's lower astrals, all that, but to see what comes into this world and the way the world vibrations that are here, some things just aren't adding up. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I don't think I'm the only one seeing it either. And I'm not talking about lower astral either. I'm talking about, you know, the high vibrational <laughs> earth, you know, so there are, I still think there's deceiving energies there, even at a high vibration, even in heaven. I'm not human. I don't think I'm humanizing that either. I don't think they want to be known. They're known, but don't want to be known, known. You know, the idea is to make our process easier to go crossing over. And life here better. <laughs> and it's like, here, it's here and there. I think it helps. That's my opinion. Connect to it as you feel. If you don't see it, that's fine. A lot of people aren't going to see it because it's like, oh, it's the other side. It's perfect. It's like, okay, fine. <laughs> that's fine. You have a, anyways, other subjects I want to go into on that, but I'm not going to go there very much anyway. So that's what I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff is going on, I guess, to some degree. Either way, all eyes are on, always on a minute, not just me, but others, but I got a lot of eyes on me from somewhere. That was a bad thing, uh, but just got, I'm getting a lot of attention, at least in the spirit realms. And uh, hey, if it makes this world a better place through that vibration, I'm all for it. So I don't really quite understand everything that's going on, but uh, I might know a little bit more tonight. We'll see. So, uh, I don't think it's bad. I think it's progress. Anything we need progress here. We know all we can get. Um, but I did feel like an alien presence here that might show itself. Who knows? I don't know. Be now, I don't know. you never know. But, to, you know, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, I'm not sure exactly how it will work, but give us kind of an, an idea that we are not. Because most people here are on this world, as you're aware, are just going to laugh about this stuff because they don't see it. They can't handle their own lives, what I won't see an alien being here. They can't handle themselves, what I won't see. You know, this, you know, so. You know, when the watermelon, the watermelon people show up, I don't think people are going to be able to handle that, but uh, I'm not sure what those are, but I don't know. Somebody made a joke of that and it sort of stuck with me. It's pretty funny. So, uh, but yeah, some of you had pretty heavy alien encounters and that's because that's real. And of course the consciousness of humanity just laughs it off and goes in another direction. How long are you going to deny it? <laughs> well, there are around us now and the focus on it would drive you crazy, but, uh, it's time to uh, grow up a little bit. So um, we'll see how the growing up goes. <laughs> not well, probably. Um, not well. <laughs> it's not going to go well. Uh, some are just, it's, it's, what is it, work? Is it, was it school? Work or school, Netflix, sports, tearing up Philadelphia because they won or et cetera. Now it's the Olympics. Valentine's Day is coming. I don't know why that's there, but you know, it's so as for Earth Awakening, we're definitely on our way. We have been for a while, uh, obviously, way before I started doing this, but um uh we're definitely gonna go to a more positive connection. I don't see any like reptilians showing up and starting chaos. That won't happen. As much as some of them would like to do it, but I think they like to rather do it not seen because it's more fun that way, and they're already doing it. <clears throat> so, um, 
So as for the manipulations, I mean, gradually people graduate. Yeah, it's just one thing that yeah, came to mind is also obviously when you get rid of television, even, yeah, you get rid of television, maybe the internet, the internet's helping people wake up. You get rid of television. Yeah, I'm not sure people, people still watch television. You get rid of the news. Let's put it that way. Probably better if you just get rid of the news. Local news, mainstream, off the internet too. Just get rid of all of it. And then you get into, and then you, you then you, people start waking up. I believe so. I could be wrong, but I think so. Because you let go, the manipulation shuts down. No more manipulation there. You might get through television shows and music was not strong. Yeah, here and there, but yeah, music needs to change too. But uh, if you get rid of anything, news would be good. It would help, help people. I mean, a lot of people don't watch the news, but still that little vibration is still hammering through us, but still a few, enough do. Fear or whatever it is, it's like, oh, we're going to put people, What? What? Are we? how are we going to control people today? <laughs> you know? going to set something on fire with some hurricane you know what are we going to do for them today or this week or this month or blah 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 shoot shoot a laser set california on fire you know and they just watch and enjoy and and just live the life and we just we're just running around like a bunch of crazy people and then those are aware of what's going on kind of can't understand it all and then they're called crazy so I don't know. I don't know what's to come. Who knows? Hopefully just a better world period. That's all we need. Less stress, better health, less mind control. So I'm not sure what I'm going to, yeah. I was going to talk about connecting with religions, but either way, to do a, um, a connection with spirit and um, leave it at that. So much love, blessings. And we're going into a new paradigm for sure. The future is always unknown, of course. Much love. Greetings to you on the private creator. Much love. As you open your mind, much comes through. As you are prepared for a new direction, your soul opens up to the next level. Your soul just constantly opens you up, connects you more, yes, to your higher self, higher consciousness. It is when you are ready. How do you understand ready? What have you let go? Have you let go of this dimension? Let go of its fears, of its materialism, and you begin to trust more of yourself. And over time, when you get used to being you, self-love comes in, you just enjoy the vibration that is you. You step out of this dimension slowly. For you to understand this further is just, it is like flying a kite. It is being free. Are you ready to be free? Are you too ready to not be manipulated by these controls around you? And you know what they are. To be free. Do not worry of the future. Enjoy the now, but also want a better place, yes. 
to manifest a better world. It does help you ascend. If you just live what's given to you, you continue to live what's given to you. But if you want a better place, you will go into that place. It is up to you how you get there. So I'm just, yes, get impatient. And impatience isn't always the worst. It does, it does set a fire around you. And it's, sometimes it works for you. Sometimes it doesn't. Because you know what you want and you want it now. But not just for financial gain, but for yourself to feel more alive, but also to just be a more pleasant place. So if I had this, I wouldn't be depressed anymore. And that's usually a talent of yours to achieve. And many of you of the high vibrations wish to further yourself into the universe to assist this earth in graduating to the other worlds around you at a high energy. Some would, yes, much rather go through at a third dimensional, yes, and you are all alone in the universe. And some are just glad to have that. But many of you see it much differently. And it is up to you how you grow into that vibration. You also set the rules. You set everything. Well, you're allowing yourself to grow. You're always growing. Do not feel like you're going in the other direction. I believe all of you are growing in the way that you wish to. Because some still have assignments here in third dimension or fourth dimension, however you want to name this earth. As for this, what is it to you? Is it third dimension or fourth dimension to you? You all have your own, you all have your own points of view. Then that is the right point of view. Never mind what others say. Now, others might say it, and you say, yeah, that rings well with me. Well, then there you go. But as for where your planet is going, remember, you're all living in your own world, pretty much. And many of you want this alien encounter, but also the spiritual encounters. No one's stopping you. You can stop yourself, and no one's stopping you. And if you do stop yourself, don't feel bad. Because there's so much to learn in this world. But also, those of you that are going to the higher, fourth, fifth dimensions, however you want to name it, sixth, seventh dimension, if you want to call it that, you are bringing, yes, you are bringing back that energy to this environment for this, this the third dimension. So you're not going anywhere. You are heightening yourself. You're also assisting this place with healings, with teachings what is it that you wish to give to this third dimensional world because you're still learning from it but this is the excitement is to see this earth as a third dimensional world and a fourth dimensional world and watch it grow so this is why it's so important to be here right now because you're seeing it transition as transits had to have transitions in the past, but this one is to go from one dimension to another, and you experience it with love, of course. And those in the third dimensional mindset will stay there depending on what they want for themselves. Some will switch, some won't, but either way, you will have a heightened understanding of how to better yourself and others there won't be any judgment some might judge but you will just live in the world that you want to live in as for where your planet is going one moment there's many shifts constantly going on not always some need a date but i would say if you want this Make it now. And many of you have. Then know it is happening now. Because your powers are going to increase if you want them to do so. 
little by little. We can't just offer you full awakenings. Oh, it all depends on the person, but you know where you are going. There's many slow movements. Realize the third dimensional web is a gradual transformation is much needed, not just for those in the 3D mentality, but also those in the fourth dimensional mentality. It's an agile, gradual release of old ways. You will see yourself much different. Yes, promises, well, promises are for each. It's different for everyone of where this ascension is going. Because each of you experience it differently. Not everyone's going to agree on it. So everyone's going to be at their own vibration. And that is the exciting part of it, is to realize that. So what would you be? Send you many blessings. Trust yourself. Live in a harmony that is you. There's much more to come. Thank <laughs> you.